Good morning. So, many of you have been on my bathroom journey with me. I'm just going to do a quick spin. Um, there is one teeny tiny piece of uh, space in this bathroom that I haven't touched yet because it's been driving me crazy to figure out how to fix it. I'm going to flip the camera and show you guys. Um, this wall behind me, I actually still have to finish, but that's easy. That's like a couple of shelves and maybe a piece of artwork when I find something that I really like. But I'm going to flip the, sh the, um, the camera to show you this. It's so awkward, this space, and it makes no sense to me. It's between the tub and the sink. They never finished it. It's gross to look at. I don't, I'm, if you know me, you know that I don't like anything like really, really dirty and like, ugh. It gives me the creepy Carly's, right? So I actively avoid looking at this particular space. Sorry, my face is dry. <laughs> this particular space in my bathroom because I have not figured out a way to fix it. So I'm going to show it to you. And then I'm going to show you how I actually, um, what the solution that I came up with is, right? So the camera, you see this weird, filthy fuck filthy space that makes no sense that was never finished and I'm not sure what that pipe is and it's like gross right and the the, the space is awkward because if you can see the this little corner here that div dives in I can't just drop something in there um to fit because not what what is that shape right and then the height of this I have to make sure that it doesn't um Whatever I do doesn't, I don't even know what that pipe is. So I don't know if I can take it out. I don't know. I've never touched it. I'm going to, I'm going to be honest with you. As I said, this particular corner, I actively avoid because it grows. So what I came up with, the solution that I came up with was, um, a plexiglass shelf and just hold on a second. I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing. I started it because I well, and I didn't record it because I wasn't sure it was going to work, first of all. Um, it was my first time actually doing this particular thing. Um, and so it's it's definitely a kind of trial by error kind of thing. And so and it's not finished yet. So before I finished, I just wanted to, now that I see that the direction that it's going in, it may actually work. I wanted to share it with you guys. So just hold on a second. Let me go to my room. So here is my shelf and please excuse me, I'm still in the middle of remodeling, I have to clean my sneakers and there's a lot to go when home meets office, right? It's kind of, gets kind of crazy, but here is the plexiglass shelf that I have started. Um, oh, here's what we did. So um, it looks crazy because there is super glue everywhere, but what I did um, was I took quarter inch plexiglass two sheets that I got from Home Depot and I scored each piece I measured in the bathroom the space and I came up with an approximate based on how thick this the tile is going to be to see how thick I needed this to be how wide um, and then so it's a little smaller than the actual space because I wanted to go to fit in so what I did was like I said I got a quarter inch plexiglass and I measured it to the space and I scored it um, and there's paint all over my floor but I'm gonna redo these floors so it doesn't bother me right now um, but I scored it and I'm not gonna lie my sons broke it because it is thick and hard to break so but I scored it about nine times on each side um, and then I had them break it and then I used the super glue the gorilla glue and let me just show you guys so this is my little toolbox here this is the see here's smaller pieces of plexiglass but this is the scoring tool and you just get a metal edge and um, go back and forth really really straight um and then on each side i did it about nine times on each side eight to nine times on each side and then had the boys crack it for me and then i used the uh gorilla glue i used the super glue gorilla gel um to hold the form 
why and then when that dried I used the glue gun to reinforce it because structurally I wanted to be able to hold the tile that I'm putting on it so then when I dropped it in I realized oh well I don't have to tile the whole bit because all that's going to show is the outside and the top so um after I got the shape settled with all the glue and it's really firm and it's not going to toughen I picked up plexiglass because I needed a material that can is both malleable is strong and sturdy and that I can cut with no machines right I'm not like in the I don't have a metal um, shop to be able to like weld and all this other stuff so it had to be something that I can cut but can still utilize the shape and plexiglass is really good for that so now after it was dry then I decided to do my tile and I found these tiles in Home Depot one black and one white I got for the theme to the bathroom and I really like them because I can do individual things I don't have to be sheets it can be if I was going to do a row of all black, you can leave it like that. Um, but because I wanted to make sure that I can alternate the colors, um, I chose this one. And I left on, I don't know if this is right, but I left on the, whatever this is, the netting. Um, because I'm assuming it grabs the grout and the adhesive um, to make it stick better. So, that was the tile that I chose. And now, in Home Depot, the gentleman was helping me pick what to use. And, you know, when you don't know, you don't know. But as I was about to do it and I read up on it, I realized that both these things, um, which is this adhesive and grout, are pretty much the same thing, right? This is just adhesive, but you can also use it as grout. So I bought two of this thing, same thing, not realizing that I didn't need it. I really just needed this. I could just do the adhesive and the grout premixed, and I did not need that. Um, Mocha came to say hi, guys. Hi, Mo. Mo. <laughs> yeah, get out. Go about your business. Good morning. <laughs> so then I used this tool which I don't I'm sure there's a technical name for it but it's a I just use think of it every time I think of tiling grouting and I spread the adhesive and grout easily as an adhesive I just spread it flat and then I cut these round tiles individually and then I added more of it on top and then I wiped most of it off and um, let it set. So it's been sitting for about um, 24 to maybe 30 hours because I wanted to make sure that it was really, really set in before I changed the direction. I wanted to make sure that nothing happened so that when I flip it like this, I know that it's sturdy. And I know that it's going to hold. Now, this is probably thicker than I need it to be, right? But also, if you can see the thickness of the actual tile, that's why. So, I laid the adhesive down, and then I used the grout, and then I do it. So, now I'm going to do this top half, and I'm going to show you guys how to do a basic grout and tile. It's really, really, really simple, actually. It wasn't difficult at all, so... And then we'll see when it dries, how it fits into the shape. Then I'm going to seal the sides on the bathroom so that no water gets down. And um, I'll show you guys that as well.
Okay, so uh, now we just have to dry. Um, I've wiped off the majority of the excess adhesive and grout. Um, again, I'm not doing the side because when I put it down, um, it doesn't look like you can see it. But if I have to, I will. But I'm just going to do these two sides in the meantime. And I'm happy that the structure held up of the plexiglass. So again, that's quarter inch thin plexiglass. Um, and I reinforced it with both super glue and hot glue. And uh, there's still some tape on the inside from when I was uh, trying to get it to stay, but that's fine. Again, you won't see it. And if I have to uh, tile over it, you definitely won't see it. So um, I just don't want it to be super duper heavy. So I'm going to do just these two sides for now this will sit and dry and cure for the next 24 to 30 hours also and uh, we'll see what we look like okay so <clears throat> it looks really good but here's the problem that I've encountered I'm gonna guess that in adding the sorry, adding the tile maybe stretched or pushed the Plexiglass out a little because as you can see it doesn't go all the way to the bottom and it doesn't go all the way over so now my decision is how do I finish this off because I really like the way it's coming out thus far do I extend the plastic with some crazy glue maybe because I don't really care about I can't see and especially if I stand up I can't see which is the main goal right it doesn't have to go all the way to the end but I do care about this part because I don't want it to leak that little space yeah see these little these little corners there I need to figure something out so I do have some extra pieces of plexiglass uh, just scraps. I'm gonna see what gluing this to the tub will do and then maybe I'll tile the parts that are not that are still visible. I think that is the way to go. So it looks cr a little crazy I know but what I'm gonna do is um, seal as much of this as possible as it after it dries and then I'm going to just like tile this section that's visible and you know make it look neat on the actual tub so you know it's an ad hoc solution but it makes me feel better because I don't have to actually see what's happening under here <laughs> So I've um, super glued it, hot glued it, and now I've just added some sealant. We're gonna let this dry till tomorrow and then we'll do the um, tiling. Okay guys, so I finished my little shelf here. And, oh, shower curtain's in the way. It is not, perfect but it is 200 million thousand times better than nothing i can no longer look down and see the black hole uh that is underneath this um and if it was my house i would move everything over just a smidge i don't know i might change the tub it's just it's an odd turn in the tub but i did my best to make it work some places the ground and everything is super thick, but that's because the tile is on an angle. So to make it work, I just kind of like slabbed as much um, on as glue and uh, ground as possible. Um, I need to put just another light layer of sealant over this edge, um, which I'm gonna do shortly. And then it's done once it's sealed. I did seal these outside edges, but I wanna just give this 
rough edge here a good little seal and um, and then that's it and that's my solution to this really odd corner between tub and sink.